We'll guide you through how to download and install the Prism Launcher for Minecraft. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This is a popular launcher, so we'll guide you through how you can get it. It's important to note you need to own Minecraft and you have to have paid for it to go and be able to go and use this. Now, what we need to do is go and close out of Minecraft like so and open up a web browser. I'll go and open up Chrome, but it doesn't matter. Then what we're going to do is go and type in Prism Launcher like so. You want to come to prismlauncher.org. Here we are. Here you're going to go and see the option for download now. We can go and click on it. You can go and read about it here as well. But to go and get it, we can press download now. Then what we can do is go and get the XE just like this. And it's now gone and downloaded. For some reason it's being blocked. I trust this, so I'll click on it and press download unverified file. And there it is. Now we need to go and install it. But just before we start the process, a big thank you to Apex Hosting sponsoring this video. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, then there'll be a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. At the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. It's definitely worth checking them out. They've got so many great features, so you can start playing with your friends. One click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, meaning you can get the help anytime you need it ultra latency, instant setup, and so much more. So if you're interested, there'll be a link down below. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now for the install, you need to come and open up your download folder. So we'll just go and right click on our files and press downloads. Here is the Prism Launcher. So you want to go and double click on it like so. We'll get this pop up, press next. You can go and select what we need to install here. We've got them selected, I'll press next. And then we can press install. Change the path there if you want to, I'm not going to though. Now you can let this run through. We've had another security pop-up. It needs to go and install Microsoft Visual. So just be patient while this runs through. It's basically gonna go and do it itself. When it's finished, you can go and select Run Prism Launcher and then press Finish. And now it's going to go and open up. Choose a language. I'll use British English. You can use American. It's up to you, whatever language you want to use and press Next. Then you can go and choose the theme. I'll leave it as it is and press Next. Now what we need to do is we need to go and use a Microsoft account to prove we own Minecraft. So press add Microsoft account. And we can then press sign in. Make sure you sign in with the account you have Minecraft on. We'll need to go and give it access, which I will. I'll press accept and then we can press open Prism Launcher. Now you can come and return to Prism Launcher. So to get started with using Prism Launcher, you need to go to the top left and you can press add instance. Here we can essentially go and install a version of Minecraft. So at the moment we're in custom and you can go and choose the different versions here. If you just wanted vanilla here, I could select 1.21.6 .1 and press OK. Alternatively, you can go and scroll down and we could choose a mod loader we may want. We've got Neo Forge, Forge, Fabric, Quilt, Life Loader, so a good selection there. So I could select Forge and then go and press OK and then go and get Forge for 1.21.6. .1 you get the idea. Alternatively, you can come over to left and import one. You can go into Curse Forge and you could actually go and get a mod pack. I could go and type in Pixelmon, for example, and I can then go and select this and I can go and press OK and it'll go and install. So you've got a plenty option there. In this case, I'll just get vanilla 1.21.6. So I'll go and have it selected and press OK and we've now added it. You can then come over to the right and press launch. Now it's going to download what it needs. Here we are, it's now running and we can go and use it.